Hello, today I am going to help you get started with the documentation toolkit for SharePoint configuration. The configuration takes just a few minutes. Everything we show you in the video comes with a free trial that you can download from our webpage. After the documentation toolkit for SharePoint installation finishes, the configuration wizard will open. The configuration wizard allows you to set the database and other sp.kit options. First, for the database, select Use a Database. You're given two options. Number one, to create a new database, or number two, to use an existing database. The documentation toolkit for SharePoint uses a database for storing data gathered from your SharePoint farm. If you choose not to use a database, some features will not be available. Select Create New Database and click Next. In this scenario, the documentation toolkit for SharePoint will take care of the database. It will be created and initialized automatically. On the next screen, we will browse for the SQL Server and choose a name for the database. Let's click on the Test Connection to confirm that the Documentation Toolkit for SharePoint can access the SQL Server. And we can see that the connection was successful. Let's click Next. Now, we will define the service account. A service account is used to gather data from the SharePoint farm. Please note that both the sp.kit service account and the account running the application need to be members of the local administrators and WSS admin WPG groups on every machine in the SharePoint farm to be allowed to retrieve the list of installed applications for all farm servers. They also need to be SharePoint farm administrators to retrieve SharePoint farm settings. For SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint 2013, the sp.kit service account and the account running the application need to be members of the SharePoint Shell access role on the SharePoint server to be allowed to retrieve certain SharePoint farm properties via PowerShell. To be able to create a new sp.kit dedicated database, the user account running the application needs to be granted the DB creator and security admin roles on the preferred SQL server. The sp.kit service account should be granted the DB Data Reader and DB Data Writer roles on the sp.kit dedicated database. Let's validate the account and then click Next. From the Load Options tab, you can adjust what the Documentation Toolkit service loads every time it runs. You can choose to load SharePoint Farm Settings, SharePoint Permissions, and SharePoint ULS and or Windows Event Logs. Every time the service loads the farm settings and permissions, it will take a snapshot or history record for you to open later and explore, or even compare to previous ones. You can configure the exact time when a snapshot will be taken and frequency of these snapshots. You can only take snapshots at a minimum of four hour intervals. The snapshot will be taken at the selected time and it will then be repeated after a selected number of days or hours. If you wish, you can also change the folder to which all your snapshots are saved. When you're done configuring the load options, click Next. The configuration wizard is now configuring the documentation toolkit for SharePoint. Now, the fun can start. You can choose whether you want to participate in the Customer Experience Improvement Program or not by selecting one of the screen options. And that's it. The application will now connect to the server. Please note that this can take a minute or two. Please check our other sp.kit videos to get started with the documentation toolkit for SharePoint. If you need help with the application, please contact our support team at support at acceleratio.net or sales team at sales at acceleratio.net.